welcome to this channel. I am in this farm today to look at problems being faced in this farm. This farmer has complained that she has problems with her cayenne pepper and uh, normal pepper which she has planted. There are problems there so I have come to witness the farm and we look at it and see what uh, proposals we can make to solve the problems on the farm. Okay, I will take you along. When dear collaborators from Death Camp, I'm so grateful and happy. It will be sometimes last week or it's about two weeks where I will pose a problem with my pepper farm. Say so I really get a difficulty with my pepper farm. I will try for inside house. So you will look up say we will do now how with the palaver. I will be so grateful for this afternoon. Say Mr. Payo, see them call around. But see say if he pass inside this farm, whether we see join heads together and then see whether we will do how with this farm. I think that the more essence are for, 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 for even the name of the bear say, the name of the I'm so so grateful say Papa comes in the morning, this farm, then we will see the problem where it worry the farm. Like this food that we talk say the pepper the trunk for down, it the true way it leaves them for down. Now the problem that way I get up. Even now for the fruiting, the pepper the dry best for fruit. You will see it will really fruit for this, so you can look at uh, just all uh, after some time. One can be fruit and all the 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 the, the, the for down. So Papa don't come now. Say may we we join heads together. Okay, th th see th for do. okay. Thank you, Madam. You did not say your name. We just say a name for us to go ahead. I'll be Madame Judy Judy Tabu for. Okay, thank yes, you, Ma. So we'll Judy go ahead Tabu and for. look at this farm together, and we'll see what uh, problems we are facing and see how we can. Resolve them first. We'll start the farm is in two sections. I'm we have the section for normal pepper, then we have the section for cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. So we are going to look at the farm in two parts. So it's a big farm. I must uh, congratulate her for what she's doing in this farm before we start trying to look at the difficulties and see how we can resolve them. Okay, uh, this farm. As I said, we are starting with the normal pepper farm. You can see how short the pepper is and how it is doing very well. It is very, very well at this short age. When she planted this pepper, she planted in the furrows. As she planted in the furrows, the intention is that with time she's going to now form ridges. When she forms ridges, the pepper will now do very well. Like, look at this one. The leaves uh, look uh, curled up, look wrapped, look wrapped. We now show that there's a problem. And with this one, I am thinking that when they put a manure under, the manure was in lumps. I don't know whether we can find manure which was in lumps, which did not dissolve very well, which is forcing it now not to absorb the manure and to cause this problem of curled leaves. Then the, this one too is the same. See, coiled leaves. So here I'm recommending that when they are putting manure, that you put manure which is not in, in lumps, so that they can easily be dissolved. This one is still short, and see how bearing it is. And then looking at the color of the plants, it also shows that uh, there's a nitrogen deficiency. She needs to add more manure. This one's bearing very well. This one's very good. Very good. Then my next recommendation is that she should uh, make ridges, form ridges under this pepper. The pepper was planted in, in furrows. That is good. It is good that we should form ridges. She form ridges now to add more soil and nutrients under the pepper. If we can uh, apply manure and then form ridges. See, this one is very yellow. The leaves are yellow, shows that there are uh, problems. If she can also use some uh, organic treatment method, she can solve the problem. For the organic treatment method, we have discussed on the forum where you have to use... Uh, yes, for the organic treatment method, we have talked on the forum that you can use uh, baking soda, you can use... Uh, uh, neem oil and some detergent to spray the pepper. That also help to get rid of some uh, fungal attack and from parasite. Alternatively, you also have EM products 
which you can also use. You can use uh, EM5, which is pest and disease control. You can use EM for agriculture, which for uh, fertility, like foliar fertilizer. Have you used some of them before? Yes, like that EM. I've used some of them, but I've not joined uh, the, 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 the two, like the EM5 and EM agriculture. If I had to uh, mix the two and use, I've not done so. I use just one of them. But I promise to look for the other one and mix the two and spray the farm. Yes, because the farm is looking promising. Please do not give up that the fruits are falling. They are just a sign of deficiency. You have many fruits on the on one plant, plant. which it cannot carry. So it is forced to abort some of them. If I abort some of them, it's just to help it carry some of the fruits. And the farm is producing. You have to just increase your, your efforts and the input. So now we can go to the Cayenne sec section and see how it is behaving. Okay, we are now in the Cayenne section. She has still used that formula of planting the plant in the furrows so that with time she can easily make ridges. And you know, this is September. Very soon it will be the rice dry season. So we have to look at the behavior of the plants. You see how short the plants are and they are flowering very well. But flowering, they are flowering very well. And cayenne is a plant that bears all through. She has decided to integrate some corn or maize. And you look at the cayenne, it also shows that they have a problem. The leaves are very tiny. Some of them are also very wrapped. They are wrapped. They are wrapped so much. You said they are rubber. Stunted, stunted rubber, growth. Rubber and stunted growth. Stunted growth. Yes, which I'm still saying that this place is on the top of the hill. It needs a lot of nutrients. Need a lot of nutrients for it to really do well. So as I recommended down there in the other type of paper, you need to form ridges. You have to first apply manure, form ridges, so that before the the rain goes away, they would have soaked it and the plants will absorb the nutrients and increase the productivity. But they are really stunted as she's saying. I decided to put corn inside the farm. Yeah, then I have also observed that she has put corn. Uh, <laughs> look at this one. Okay, let her explain us why she has decided to, to put corn in the farm. Because when we give cayenne to plant, we always recommend that cayenne needs full sunlight. So why have you decided to put corn in the farm around? Well, dear collaborators, this corn inside this farm is just a sign of discouragement. Like I was discouraged with the farm and I just wanted to make use of the land. When, then I decided to put this maize inside the, 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 the farm so that I can, even if I'm losing the paper completely, at least let me pick up something from the, 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 the maize. That's why you see some of the maize spotted in the farm on the spaces, on the spaces of the, uh, where I planted the cayenne and it was not coming, and it was not coming to my place. I decided to put corn inside. Okay, madam. So, uh, but we hope that this cayenne uh, will give you the result. You know, cayenne is a product which is so natural. We will not recommend to use chemicals in this farm. And if you take to these recommendations, add manure and do mulching, you are going to get the result and you will not be disappointed. I promise. I promise to do that. I promise I will do that. Okay. I will do it. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Well, for that farm also get patchy way, he don't decide for, he has decided to harvest some cayenne pepper and eat to demonstrate how useful cayenne pepper is. And you will tell us, I can buy that thing is that cayenne pepper you are eating like that, pa? Yes, it's cayenne ha. pepper. You eat it like that? You chew it like that? So many things now. Really? Ha, huh, this, oh, yeah, yeah. this <laughs> eating cayenne pepper. <laughs> no, anyway, yes, cayenne pepper is so medicinal for those who know it. And this pa has been consuming cayenne pepper in this farm for a very long time. And he, he is part of this farm, so he is the one who has been promoting this farm so that they should do it so that many people can benefit from the advantages of cayenne pepper. So I'm happy that uh, our lead farmer, this mama, uh, Tabofo Judith, she has promised to intensify her efforts on the farm so that this cayenne pepper in particular can improve. And uh, you look at uh, some of the pepper, at least the leaves are green which means that she just needs to increase her effort. Okay, thank you, Mama. So, we wish you the best, eh? Thank you so much, too. Thank you for visiting. Okay, bye-bye. I'm bye -bye. so grateful. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Papa. Bye -bye. Mm.